is long-term care insurance worth it? It depends on what your situation is. Long-term care insurance gives peace of mind to those people who have it. If they have it, they can afford it or they had the foresight to buy it in advance when it was not so costly. Usually, um, as an elder law attorney, we don't see a whole lot of long-term care insurance um, that our clients have. If they do have it, it makes our estate planning so much easier because they have a pool of funds that they can use in the event they ever need long-term care that we don't have to worry about having to do any kind of Medicaid planning or, um, you know, Medicaid planning sometimes can involve, you know, a five-year look-back gift to uh, other family members or to an irrevocable trust. But with long-term care insurance, we know that we have this pool of funds making things so much easier. In the past, um, insurance companies would sell lifetime long-term care insurance. I have not seen that lately. Um, long-term care insurance typically would be a three-year term, perhaps up to a five-year term. A five-year term is ideal from a estate planning and elder law attorney perspective because Medicaid has a five-year look back. So if, for example, we're trying to protect the family farm or the uh, family legacy uh, cabin or something like that, if we have a five-year long-term care insurance policy that will get through five years, we can give away those assets to the kids, to family, to an irrevocable trust without having any impact on the uh, long-term care and future Medicaid benefits. So having long-term care insurance is definitely, definitely a great thing to have, number one, if you have the ability to get it, remember there's medical qualifications and oftentimes people wait too long to get the insurance. If you have a diagnosis that's going to lead the insurance company to think you're going to use their benefits, they're not going to sell you the policy. So the lesson from that is get it younger. Get it in your 50s if you possibly can before in, there's a bad diagnosis. Um, get a policy that has compounding so that it grows and grows because as we know there's inflation and costs grow and grow so you want your policy benefits to grow and grow as well. Get a five-year term if you can or if you are in a situation for example a husband and wife maybe you each can get a three-year policy which can be used by either one of you whoever gets sick First, they can use up their first three years and then they can use their spouse's three years. So that's also a good option. When it comes to purchasing long-term care insurance, work with an insurance broker who sells it, not who sells it and your auto and your homeowners and all of your others. Go to a specialist because they will place you with the right insurance company and get you the best rate. They know what they're doing. They're experts. So I highly recommend uh, if you have the ability to get a long-term care insurance policy to do so. People resist it. They say, you know, that's going to cost me $3,000 a year. Let me put this in perspective. We are seeing skilled nursing uh, monthly costs of $15,000 uh, to $18,000 per month. $3,000 a year isn't that much if that is what your future looks like. If you cannot afford $3,000 annual cost for your long-term care policy or whatever it may be, yours may be higher, depends on your age, depends on your premium rates, then definitely see um, an estate planning and elder law attorney because many clients whom we serve don't have long-term care insurance and they have long-term care needs and what we're able to do is put into place Medicaid asset preservation strategies with the right estate planning documents to make sure that they don't lose all their assets. So 
Do I, as an estate planning and elder law attorney, think long-term care insurance is worth it? Absolutely, I do. But whether or not you can qualify and you can financially afford it, that's a whole different matter. And if you don't have long-term care insurance, know that an estate planning and elder law attorney with expertise in Medicaid can help you. Please see them. Thank you.